For your CD Good Morning, we've essentially played with two options, and that is using dumbbells or using hands behind the head, and it really just depends on where you're at with the movement. Assuming that you have both depth and back position and the weight, and if I'm bottoming out and I'm very readily able to get my hips or to get my rib cage down into my hips with a flat back position, well, I can start to add in a barbell, which will allow for a couple of cool things. First of all, I scooch back a little further on the bench and now I've got a target. I'm actually trying to get my belly. I like to imagine the space between my rib cage and my belly button as my target. And what this does is force, look at this closure between my hips and my belly. And so getting out of movement actually isn't that bad. Once I can get down there, I've got so much loaded tension that coming back out isn't gonna be super duper heavy. It's really more about that hip compression and allowing yourself to fold and fold and maintain a back position. I don't wanna get it ugh, with my nose ugh, and lose that back position. I wanna get down there with my belly ugh, and come back up. Now, what is this for? Well, you'll notice that my relationship between my hip and my rib cage is very, very similar to how it is here. And so I can attack that back position. If I'm a person that has trouble rounding and maintaining a tight back position, this can be incredibly helpful for stabilizing and making sure that I stay tight. As far as the buy-in goes, I want to have one of two things in play. I want to either be able to get my hips open enough that my rib cage is getting down in between my legs. Now, because there's no outside load, I may not be able to actually pull this off with just body weight, that's fine. Or I want to be able to comfortably get through 20 reps with 30% of my body weight, which is going to tax a little more towards the lower back in maintaining that position as I go through it. Both are obviously ideal, but usually you can start training with that barbell as soon as you either have the depth or the back resiliency to start pulling this movement off.